I won't be horsing around with painting this miniature. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. I'm back with a new class of heroes. These are the rangers we're going to be starting to paint. And this is Nahias. He's a centaur and he's zenithal primed. And why is that? Because we're going to be doing some speed painting on the zenithal highlighting. Now, to be honest, I'm not even sure if I like the zenithal highlighting aspect on uh the speed paints i don't know i just I, I don't know if it just doesn't cover properly when it's the darker color like the darker area anyways i mean what are you gonna do right i already primed it zenithal highlighting and we're gonna be painting it anyway so first we start off with some grim black speed paint and then some palette bone for the hooves um we're moving on to some sand golem now it's gonna be for the shield and for the uh bow staff or the crossbow or bow i think it's bow staff or bow you know the bow area the bow staff I don't know. What do you want to call it? Also using on some of the pouches around as well. Uh, this sand golem is beautiful, by the way. And with the white, it's great. As you can tell, it works a lot now. Crusader skin. Here is one of my least favorites of the speed paints. This skin tone is just way too pale. And uh, it, the face just turns out looking pretty nasty. I'll, I'll fix it up a little later, but it's still not what I wanted. And uh, this is where I'm talking about where like the shadows are. So see underneath his arms and that, and some of his face had some of the black left, and it just stays black. Like it, I don't know if it's it's not too pretty. Maybe I should have painted the face with it like a skin tone first. But this is how you learn, right, guys? You you do stuff. Dark wood is next. We're gonna be doing this for uh, the sheath of his. It looks like a sword. He has like a dagger sheath or something there. Uh, he's got another one. Uh, his actually the quiver uh, for the the arrows. Uh, just some little parts here and there with the dark wood. So another. This is an actual beautiful color. The hardened leather. This one is still not as great for contrast areas, like to show like a lot of details. It's not bad. Uh, so we're going to be doing this on like his saddle and some straps. Um, we're also going to use it on the actual arrows just to give it a lighter brown than the actual bow itself. Uh, pretty good though anyways. Contrast, pa uh, speed paint, sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, gun metal now. We're going to be doing this on all of his armor. Now this guy had lots of armor. Technically what I could have done is spray painted this guy with uh, a metal primer now i don't have any army painter ones i should pick one up um but this is uh so this is gun metal it's it's a very dark uh metallic paint so it's pretty cool i like it i'm not gonna do much with this like i'm not putting speed paint over this later on because this is the color of his armor all right next we're gonna move on to some werewolf fur this is just a basic paint we're just gonna be doing some highlighting now on some of the little areas like these straps that are on his quiver uh, and like the edge of it as well just to give it a little bit more depth to this miniature hey, and I hope you guys are enjoying these massive darkness videos uh, comment down below what you think my next class of heroes is gonna be the last time people thought I was gonna do the paladins this time but oh, I'm doing the Rangers so what am I doing next folks comment down below and hit that like button as well and subscribe if you're new to the channel all right, next we're moving on to some spaceship exterior. This is a very light gray paint. We're gonna be using this for the tips of the arrows. Uh, just not to make it metallic, you know, make it a little different, make them pop a little bit more. Now some Xanathar blue for the feathers on that ornament that he has on his quiver. And we're using a little bit of dark skin wash now. This is from the Skin Tones paint set. Uh, just to darken up his skin a bit more on the face because I just found it was way too light. Now, and on top of all the uh, gun metal, we're going to be using some dark tone. Just to tone it down a bit. Make it look a little bit more dirty. Uh, look a little bit more uh, medieval style. Ready to fight those minions. Ah, uh, yeah. Love dark tone. Dark tone works good on metallics. Dark tone is not bad from the Iron Pants. One of the washes I actually do like. It's not too thick. It could, you know, it's some of their washes there. Eesh. Shining silver now, just to do a little bit of uh, highlight here on the edge of that shield that he has on the front of him uh, just to make it pop a little bit more and there you go folks and the highest is painted ready for the table i hope you enjoyed watching this video hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all in the next one